Hello friends, Real Gang Therese here, and welcome back to another Doctor Who Series 13 leak video. But before we get into it, if you could just do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, that would be ever so much appreciated. We're trying to get to 10k by the end of the year, and if we could get there, I would absolutely love it. We're just off 7,000 subscribers at the time I'm recording this. We may have even reached it by the time you're watching this, so thank you very much if we have, but let's get right into the leak video. This one's called Series 13 to 60th Anniversary Rumors by Rassilon Matrix. Again, I think someone who we're familiar with by this point, I'm pretty sure. Here's some things I've been hearing through the grapevine at my work, who have connections to production at BBC Wales. I'm not on any of the projects myself, so don't know if it's just hearsay, but I thought I would share them in case they're legit. Mainly because they're pretty bloody exciting. With that, don't take them with an absolute truth, because most likely some of them aren't correct. Joe Martin and Sasha Dewan are in the specials and series 13 finale. David Tennant and Catherine Tate appear in the Centenary special. Alex Kingston returns as River Song, not sure when, but she's apparently been on set. Christopher Eccleston makes an appearance in the Centenary special, not sure how heavy his involvement is, but he's also been on set. The Timeless Child story arc is what we're going to see play out over the next year, apparently the Doctor is still the Timeless Child. Vinda, played by Jacob Anderson, is a different version of the Doctor while they were in the Division. Mandip Gill's character Yaz is killed by the Master in the Series 13 finale. Missy, played by Michelle Gomez, the Master played by John Sim, and also Sasha Dewan, will be the big bad in the Centenary Special. The Centenary Special is approximately 19 minutes long. Hello, it's me. I'm Joe from the Confused Daddy Pose YouTube channel. And in all fairness, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. I'm editing this video for Tharys, and he's given me 30 seconds of creative license to say whatever I want. I have two things to say. First up, I have a Doctor Who fan film currently in production called Echoes End, but hopefully coming by the end of summer. Go and subscribe. And the second most important thing, unsubscribe from Tharys right now. His leaks are a load of bollocks. The next showrunner is up in the air, I've heard it's Pete McTeague, but then I also heard that it's Steve Pemberton and Reese Shearsmith, with Mark Gates also joining them. There's also a rumour about Phoebe Waller-Bridge and Emerald Fennel, having been approached by the BBC and offered some serious cash to take over the show. This was months back at the end of the year, so I expect everything is in place by now. The next Doctor is also up in the air, Lydia West was a name that's been chucked about, along with Ollie Alexander, this was prior to the It's a Sin release. Everything went quiet after that. The 60th anniversary will likely not happen, the centenary special is the alternative. There were murmurings of RTD to pen a film for the 60th anniversary. Then the new showrunners would take over at the end, revealing the new Doctor. But I think that's just whisperings, especially since series 14 goes into production early next year. Okay, so there's some interesting stuff there. First off, I really don't think Chris Ackleston is coming back for anything. I don't care if it's a centenary special. I think if you wanted him back, you're going to have to pay him like so much money. Just given what he said in interviews, he really doesn't seem to want to come back. I really doubt that. In regards to other things, though, it kind of just reads like people just putting together a lot of the rumours we've already heard, like the Catherine Tate, David Tennant rumour, the Michelle Gomez rumour, things like that. I will say, if the Centenary Special is the replacement for the 60th, it would make sense for them to bring that many returning characters back. With that said, however... I really don't like the idea of the Centenary Special taking over for the 60th, mainly because I really like the tradition of having a big blowout special for the 60th and for each 10 years. With that said, though, I think we're just going to have to get used to it if that is the case. The next show would have been Pete McTeague. I mean, that's one of the most common names floated about. I don't really have much to say on that. I think he's a bit of a generic choice. Jacob Anderson playing a different version of the Doctor. Jacob Anderson playing a different version of the Doctor while they're in the Division. Again, could be true. I mean... There's been a lot of rumours about Vinda's character or Jacob Anderson, one of them being that he was actually going to be a twist villain. I'll see if I can put the card in the corner for that video. But who really knows at this point? Alex Kingston returning his River Song, again, just sort of reads as, like, generic rumour. The idea that the Doctor is still the Timeless Child, I'm not overly keen on. I did sort of hope that it was going to be changed in Series 13 somewhat, but that doesn't seem to be happening according to this leak. Again, this leak could be complete bollocks. I always say that with most of these videos, but... If this is true, then I, I'm not too keen on the idea of the Timeless Child still being the Doctor by the time Series 13 comes to a close. But be sure to let me know what you guys thought about these leaks in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Well, if you did, please give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you later. Oh, and number C, never ever eat pears. They make your chin all soggy. Ugh.